Hey, you want to see nakedness? No saddlebags, no side panels. I just took everything off and uh, drove up to the car wash and I washed the rims front and back and hit some of the areas that I can't get my hands into. And now I'm gonna let this thing cool down. Actually, I'm gonna turn that fan on and blow the fan on this. <clears throat> and then me and Breezy, I take a little break. I've been real busy doing just motorcycle stuff, nothing interesting. And uh, polish my chrome where I can't get two of the saddlebags on and, and uh, wax my paint and then wax my saddlebags and these side panels here. And uh, that's it for, for me today. All right, let's do. Ooh -ha. Just had some barbecued pork. Yeah, I had a Medicare salesperson call. <coughs> had to hang up. Anyway, uh, I cut the bike all back together. I was gonna do a, an after, so you could see it all shiny and gleaming, but uh, my I sat on the floor for a couple hours, working my way around the bike, you know, on my butt, polishing the chrome and stuff. And whenever I do that, my back just freaking kills me. So uh, this is Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday, y'all. Uh, today, uh, Wednesday, tomorrow. Hey, this is Tuesday for me, but you'll see this Wednesday. So uh, Wednesday is Bev's birthday. How old is Bev? 71? 71? I meant 31. 31. And uh, so we're... I don't care. That don't mean she don't care. Right? <laughs> so we're going to take her out to eat tomorrow. Going to Gucci's and Marshall. And uh, <clears throat> it's a one of a, kind of a one-of-a-kind place. I don't know of any other place called Gucci's. But they have a pizza buffet. And it's not your, you know, CC's Pizza. It's a really good pizza. And they have lasagna on the buffet. They oh, have yeah, spaghetti. Good really good lasagna, yeah. They've got Italian sausage, and then uh, I think it's just to take up space, but they have this salad bar. Nobody ever eats it, but uh, it's there, if that was your flavor. Oh, and they have soup. They had clam chowder, uh, some kind of minestrone soup. But anyway, have a good Wednesday, y'all. Fragments of limb and vertebral bones. Despite the lack of anything approaching a complete skeleton, these sparse and highly incomplete remains were deemed sufficient by Buckland to speculate about the existence of a previously unrecognized giant reptilian creature. He quickly described this creature as Megalosaurus in 1824, marking one of the first purported identifications. I forgot to tell you this. Uh, the speakers that I took off my motorcycle yesterday afternoon, I put them on Facebook Marketplace. I Googled their value, and uh, together, you know, the the big speakers were about 160, 170 bucks. New. And these, who knows how old they were. And uh, the speakers that I took off the little pods uh, behind the driver, those were how about 50 or 60 bucks. And uh, <coughs> I first put them on Facebook Marketplace for 75. And then I thought, no, because somebody's going to offer me 50 and I really want 75. So I'll put them on for 100 and I'll take 75. That's fair. And I put them on Facebook Marketplace and within a couple hours I sold them. <laughs> so to another guy with a motorcycle, a young guy. And he wanted to put him, uh, and he had a really fancy motorcycle, highly customized, and uh, he blew a couple of speakers, so uh, he needed to replace them. And then Polk, the big punch speakers, were what he wanted most of all. So, got rid of them. Good to, good to have them on here. Now I'm not going to store them anywhere. <laughs>